I have recently finished Revolution by Jennifer Donnelly, copyright 2010. This book is about 472 pages long. It's historical fiction. Most of the story does take place in modern Brooklyn and Paris, but there is a lot of history packed into the book. There are two, two main characters, Andy, who is the modern American girl. She is a student at a private school who should be looking forward to graduating and, you know, going off in the world. However, her family has had a tragedy. Her, we find out that, we find out right in the beginning of the story that her little brother has died. It is revealed throughout the story what happens. Uh, we do know pretty immediately, though, that Andy, our main character, feels like she is to blame for his death. And that has obviously impacted her really significantly and really negatively. Her mother is having a really hard time, understandably. And her father has really tried to distance himself from the situation. He doesn't live with her family anymore. He's always been really involved with his work, but after the death of her brother, he kind of totally disengages from their family. Um, in addition to Andy's storyline, there's also the Alex storyline, which is revealed throughout the story um, because Andy finds a diary of Alex's and is reading the story. So Andy, at her high school in Brooklyn, is about to be suspend expelled. She's not doing what she needs to do to graduate from this prestigious universe or this prestigious high school. So she, her father, kind of step realizes what's happening and steps in and, much to Andy's disgruntlement, makes her come with him to France. Hard life. Um, makes her come with him to France so that she can finish her thesis and hopefully successfully graduate. And so they've got a deal. She has to finish her thesis by a certain date, you know, and then she'll be allowed to go back home. And she's writing her thesis. She's a really gifted musician. She's writing her thesis about the composer um, Amade Malherbeau. I was a little disappointed Amade Malherbeau was a fictional character. As I was reading the story, I didn't look it up until I was done because I wanted to know more about him and more about the history of the book. And Jennifer Donnelly does say, you know, in her kind of acknowledgments at the end, there's mixes of created characters and true historical figures. And unfortunately, Amade Malibro is a fictional character. I suspected that he might be because I'd never heard of him or any of his music, but I was hoping he was real because he's a very, uh, you just, you want him to be real when you read this. Um, so Andy gets whisked away to France, to Paris, to work on her thesis, and she ends up meeting people, and, you know, she's just not a very happy person. She's had this tragedy in her life. She's not coping with it well or at all. She's on uh, kind of abusing some pills that are supposed to be helping her cope, but it's not helping the situation because of how she's using the medication, and she's just a miserable wreck of a human being and not really functioning very well at all. Um, but she ends up finding this diary of Alex's and kind of really getting immersed in her world. And there's a lot of parallels between Alex's life and her own and Alex's situation and her own and what Alex goes through and what she's going through. And it really starts to just engulf Andy's life as she's, you know, attempting to, you know, study and get her thesis done so that she can, you know, go back home and be rid of her father. Uh, she really gets just kind of sucked in to this world. Um, there is definitely a twist in this book that I wasn't expecting, which is awesome because I feel like a lot of time with young adult literature gets a little predictable. Um, but I felt there was something in here that actually caught me off guard. I did not see coming. And I like that. I was happy that it was able to do that. This definitely made me go out and seek more information about uh, the French Revolution. 
because there's so much history jam packed into into this book that both the characters Alex and Andy uh, spend time in the catacombs under Paris, and so reading about that was really fascinating, and about Robespierre, Marie Antoinette, Louis Shaw. There's a whole mystery unfolding in Andy's modern story about the heart of Louis Shaw, and that parallels what's happening with Alex because Alex in the 18th century in her diary is describing her life with Louis Charles as kind of his companion. She's an actor and she was brought on, you know, kind of hired as a companion for the prince and her life as the French revolution is beginning and she's living with, you know, the monarchy in a time when that was not who you want to be associating with or hanging out with if you want to keep your head. Yeah, there's a lot, also a lot of really awesome music packed into this book. In addition to the classical stuff that she talks about, there are references to real, lots of real modern um, music lyrics. She referenced a lot of lyrics because as Andy isn't functioning super well in life, she the one kind of escape she has is in her music. She's a guitarist. And she's really into just a huge range of music. And so she references, you know, different chords and different lyrics from just a huge number of artists and genres. And so that was a really cool thing and made me want to go look up, you know, a bunch of the songs she talked about. I knew many of them, but some of the songs she talks about references I'm not familiar with. So it really made me want to go kind of check those things out. So that's cool. When a story is able to make you want to go outside of the story to find more. I want to hear the songs she's talking about. I want to see the pictures, the portraits she's talking about seeing of, you know, Louis Charles, the Dauphin of France. And I want to see, you know, I want to learn more about the catacombs in Paris and, you know, the victim's ball that they talk about going to and all these different kind of cool historical little tidbits that are mixed in. So I really, I like that. I like when a story kind of makes me want to know more about the, you know, the time it's set or, you know, things that are mentioned in it. So definitely would recommend. It's a, it's a big journey. Andy's not particularly likable in the beginning, but as the story went on, um, you kind of start to really realize what's going on with her and why she feels the way she does. And, There's a huge amount of personal growth that happens for her throughout the story. So she's a really dynamic character who is able to kind of, you know, it's not all sunshine and rainbows at all because it's very, a lot of horrible things happen. It's pretty sad. Um, But the amount of growth she's able to have through all these different things that happen to her is nice to see. (laughs) It's nice to see. So yeah, this is Revolution by Jennifer Donnelly. I would recommend it.